Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about a young boy named Eddie who works at a booth at his school fair, guessing the ages of the guests. Are you curious to know what happened? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? More or less, by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by David T. Wenzel. Mr. Shaw had been the principal of Bayside School for so many years, and most people couldn't even remember how long it had been. But now he was retiring. All the students and teachers, most of the parents, Mr. Shaw's family, and the people from the neighborhood had gathered in the schoolyard for a big picnic in his honor. All around the playground, there were booths with games to play. Let's Eddie guess your age was one of the most popular booths. If Eddie could guess a person's age after three questions or less, he won. If it took him four questions or more, the person got a prize. And if he couldn't guess even after six questions, Eddie got dunked in a big tank of water. Eddie was good and lucky. He hadn't gotten dunked yet. Clara, one of Eddie's classmates, came along. She spoke in a really squeaky voice, so Eddie wouldn't know who she was. Bet you can't guess my age, Clara said. Is it less than ten? Asked Eddie. Yes, said Clara. More than seven? Yes. So you're older than seven, and younger than ten. Is your age an even number? Asked Eddie. No, it's not. Squeaked Clara. Then you're nine years old. Said Eddie. No prize for you. Ah!、Oh, complained Clara in her real voice. I never win anything. Try another game," said Annie. "You never know when your luck will change, Clara." One of the parents came over to Eddie's booth. She spoke in a low, rolly voice, but Eddie could still tell that she was a grown-up. He thought, "My mom just turned forty-two. Maybe I'll start there." Are you older than forty-two? Asked Eddie. Yes, muttered the woman. Have you had your forty-sixth birthday? Asked Eddie. No, she said. Is it an odd number? Asked Eddie. There are two odd numbers between forty-two and forty-six. If the woman said yes, he'd have to ask a fourth question and give a prize away. No, it's not," said the woman. "Then you're forty-four years old," said Addie. "No prize for you." Meanwhile, Clara had decided to take Addie's advice, but her luck hadn't changed yet. Sorry," said the woman at the ring toss booth. "Why don't you try the dart game?" At Addie's booth, 
an older kid came over. He sounded like a teenager, so Eddie asked, "Are you older than thirteen?" "Yes," whispered the boy. "Younger than fifteen?" "No," the boy said. "Now I'm in trouble," thought Eddie. "Older than twenty?" he asked. "No," the boy said. Between fifteen and twenty narrows it down," thought Addy. "Are you eighteen?" he asked. "Nope," the boy said. "Are you seventeen?" "You finally got it," he said. "But it took you five questions." "Pick a prize," said Addy. "Ah,、oh, too bad." Said the boy, "I wanted to see you get dumped." At the booth next door, Clara was still doing her best to win a prize. Clara, I don't think this game is for you," said the teacher at the dart game. "Look, isn't that your grandfather over there?" Clara looked up. She grinned and ran off to Eddie's booth. The next voice at Addis Booth sounded really old. "Are you older than fifty?" asked Addie. "Yes," said the man. "Younger than fifty-five?" asked Addie. "No," said the man. "Between fifty-five and sixty?" "No." "Younger than sixty-two?" "No." All that he knew was that this person was at least sixty-two years old. Are you younger than sixty-eight? Addie asked. No, said the man. Addie had just one question left before he'd get dumped. Are you sixty-nine? He asked. No, said the voice. Addie heard Clara laugh. And then, Eddie untied his blindfold as he climbed out of the tub. You must be as old as Mr. Shaw, he said as he wiped water from his eyes. I'm Mr. Shaw," said Mr. Shaw. And I'm seventy. Mr. Shaw picked the biggest prize in the entire booth. Then he handed it to Clara. Clara gave her Bayside Dolphin a big hug. Thanks, Granddaddy, she said. The end. Let's do a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need just paper and pencil. You'll have a secret number, and your kids will guess the secret number using the clues that you give them. For example, you'll say, "This number is more than five, but less than ten. It is an odd number." Kids will then write the different possible answers. You'll then read another clue. And they will cross out the number from their answers that doesn't apply, until they find a secret number. You can give a clue like "It's more than eight." Start from single-digit numbers, and once kids get used to it, move to two-digit numbers. You can also change roles. Kids will think of number and give clues that will help you guess it. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time.